Hi, I'm Dave, this is Dave's Weird Project, and we're here with some more Into the Breach. We started a new run last time after successfully finishing one timeline. We got a new squad, the RST, what are they, the Rusting Hulks, and uh, had a successful mission with them. So let's jump into it. We're going to go with this Thermal Dampeners. It's got this break five buildings out of the ice and take less than three grid damage. Those are our objectives. I think this is pretty doable. You can see that these uh, these uh, buildings are all stuck in the ice, and the cool part about this is any any one any amount of damage will break the ice, kind of like a shield. But it doesn't have to be us. We can actually make the fact do it, and they may just do it. So the Vec are actually going to help us complete this goal, hopefully. So yeah, there's he's going for that one. If we move out of the way, he'll take care of that one. So we're actually in pretty good shape this turn. Uh, let's see. We'll take care of that. Not a ton to do with our science friend. So we'll just occupy the center. And we'll come here and... Just shoot some ice. Whoosh. Some more ice, some more ice. So we've got three out of the ice. Alright. He's going to take care of that one, so we can skip that. Uh, who's first? He's first. So if we just move out of the way, he'll do a damage to him. That'd be great. Uh... He could do a push to take, uh, to at least push this off. And then Archimedes, oh yeah, sure, Archimedes could um, then push him down and he will shoot this. Oh no, wait, no, he's going to be down an extra one. Okay, so that won't work. But still take care of things. Alright, so sure, we'll do, we'll get you off of him. And shoot that down there. And uh, so the jet mech, I always have trouble with him because he's just so, uh, he's got to go so far to do his, his work. Uh, luckily, he's got a decent amount of movement, but... Yeah, we'll go there. He's at this back edge, which means he's only going to be able to get to this kind of area here next turn. Hopefully stuff will stay within reach. Alright, we've got four broken out of the ice. I only need to do one more. If we were to push him over here and be out of the way, he'd take care of that. Um, and we would be able to block a spawn for next turn. That's not a bad idea. So if we did that like this, he can go... Oh, wait. He's going to take care of that one. He's going to break that out. So let's not, let's not do that. Let's worry about saving this building. This is, this is really the only real problem. Uh, that we're facing this turn. How would we fix that? <laughs> I don't know if we can. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure we can. If he was somewhere else. But no. If we could do a push. Oh, we could do a push. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll do it. And then he'll just take one damage from, from that. Okay, so that building is safe. We'll just... Can we save the damage on him? Can we protect him? No.
Yeah. See, if I shoot him, I get shot. <laughs> and uh, we don't have a mech damage requirement, though, so whatever. We can take some damage. It's okay. That's what it's for. Okay. Got this successfully. Oh, and this showed up. Uh -huh. Check that out. <laughs> You're done. Uh, this is pretty simple. And this is pretty simple. Haha. Effect threat removed. Reason for removal. Rival back. All right, we got the buildings out of the ice. We took less than three grid damage. We took zero grid damage because we're just that good. Saved some civilians. Moved right along. Okay, what's cold storage about? Defend the robots. This is that one I was mentioning, uh, I think, last time. We're going to have these little robot guys. Let's do this one, sure. What are, what are our other options? Protect the coal plant. Protect the power generator. Don't take damage. Protect the coal plant. Kill at least seven enemies. So we'll do this one just because it's stars. Generally, the choice between a star and a power upgrade is you take the star unless you're really hurting. Um, so these are the little robots we need to protect. They're gonna they're gonna do something fun. We'll, we'll take it. We'll see what happens here. Uh, I'll put this back there. Do like that. So watch them. So they make these little ice mines. Uh, and if a vec drops on one, they get encased in ice. Kind of like the buildings we saw in the last thing. That can also happen to us, so be aware. Uh, we've also got this, which we could easily just take out with our artillery. He's stuck and would have to jump, <laughs> jump over him and then be encased in ice uh, to get out of that on his own, which I'm not super excited about. Um, but that may be what we have to do because I don't really see a way to save this building because this guy's in the way. Yeah, options are actually quite limited uh, for dealing with this. So yeah, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to do that. So, knock him back. Oh, we can do this now. We can safely push him. It doesn't hurt him. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's better. And then, we got a couple different ways we could go. We could hit him, uh, and the damage plus the smoke would get rid of him, which is a good thing. We could also come and hit him, but then we'd be, be down here, which I don't like. If we go here and jump, we're closer to the center, and that's a better thing. We could also take out the health bonus guy, block a spawn, but you'll notice that our jet only has two health, and I, I don't like using low health guys for stuff like that. So I'm going to take him out. We're going to get two new friends, but it should be okay. Okay, we got a firefly to shoot and another jumpy grab dude. Ah, see, landed on the thing, and he's gonna try to break him out. Um, good for him. Okay, so let's see. That would be a good time to artillery him and just get it over with. That would also make this just die because he only had the one bonus health from him left. Um, we could also then, we could smoke him, and that would kill him. We'd be down here, uh, which blo which puts us in blocking a spawn. But we could push him off of it with the science mech, and have the science mech block a spawn, which might be a little more palatable. Uh, yeah, I think I like that, so. We'll do that. Gonna go here, and jump. Take that out. And then 
get him off of there so he doesn't take that damage. So we're going to take one there, but there's no uh, damage bonus requirement. And we'll block a spawn, so we're only going to have to deal with two guys next turn. Makes it much easier going into the last turn. <laughs> he iced himself. Thank you, sir. Uh, let's see. Oh, well, this is great. We can do this. Oh, smoke blocks. We can't do that. Uh, we could push him into the water and do another um, block. We could push him into the smoke and do another block. Uh, we could come over. We could just get out of the way and have him knock him onto that and block. Yeah, let's just do that. There's there's not a ton to do this turn. Uh, the the Vec have mostly neutered themselves. Yeah. So going into the last turn, we only have two to deal with. Our little robot friends are perfectly safe. So yeah, this is pretty easy. Shut you down. Shut you down. And I don't know. That's it. The shocking smoke. We're still picking up Vec Flea in the area. Not ideal, but still a win for us. Yep. We left two encased in ice. <laughs> it's kind of funny because they'll be encased in ice and they'll complain about Vec getting away. Like, even if that's all that's left, they'll complain about Vec getting away. It's like, they're right there. Just hit them with robots. With the Vec destroyed, we can safely attempt repairs on the machines. Thank you. All right, region secured. Uh, let's see. So here, block Vec spawning three times. We're okay at that. Protect the emergency batteries. Protect coal plant. And the battle with less than four mech damage. So in terms of completing objectives, I feel like this is probably the most doable. We'll go there. Okay, so they're all they're all in ice, and they're gonna start busting themselves out, if I remember right. So we'll do this, this, and this. I don't remember if there are spawn points either. Oop, time pod. Yes, thank you. All right, so these guys come out. Uh, no spawn points arriving, so that's good. Okay, so what to do? We can easily take him out with a rocket because um, it'll bump, but it'll break him out too. That's not terrible. I mean, they're going to get busted out eventually anyway. So we'll do that do that and we'll just come here and get the time pod and uh, push it nothing okay all right so now we've got uh, we got a handful of guys here uh, this situation is pretty easily remedied we just push and they die on bumps so that's great um, he has also only got one health, so that's great. And he's only got one left, so that's great. So we're in, we're in pretty good shape here. Go here. Control the center. Hit there. Alright. Okay. Uh, let's see. Again, this is just pretty easy. And that's it. Yeah. Those machines were beyond repair after suffering such extreme temperatures. Killing them was a necessity to save more life, I hope. Um, yeah. What do we get? Oh, interesting. So, we get a reactor core, but we also get... Uh, mechs heal damage when they deal a killing blow. This is great. This is great. And it doesn't, uh, it does take one power. You can see the little bubble at the bottom of it. 
But we got that reactor core, so that helps. And burr, 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 bad news, corporate headquarters coming in. We lost District Z1101, Lifeless Basin. I mean, who's, who saw that coming? Uh, and the Sub-Zero range. All right. We got one core. We have a choice. We can either give Archimedes his move after, or we can fire up this, uh, this heal after getting a kill. This squad is actually not the best at getting direct kills. I mean, they're okay, but a lot of their stuff is passive because of the smoke damage. I think at this point, I would rather have Archimedes doing his fire and forget, because that, that's pretty helpful. Uh, but we're definitely going to look to power that up uh, after we beat the corporate HQ, unless there is something really compelling in the uh, in the stuff on offer. So destroy the firefly leader, protect the corporate tower. We've seen this guy before. Shoots two directions, does a bunch of damage. We can handle it. We're the we're the rusting hulks, baby. Okay. Okay, so he's shooting at nothing as long as we move out of the way. And uh, I'm pretty satisfied with that. Archimedes has his move out of the way thing, which is fantastic. So we could hit him for two, push him onto the thing, and he'd also block a spawn. So that would be three damage to him this turn. That'd be really good. Um, this guy is also shooting at nothing, unless as long as we move out of the way. Um, yeah, I, I'm feeling pretty good about this. This is the only one we really need to worry about. So we would probably go down there and smoke him. Um, and then not sure what we would do with the science. So let's take, let's figure that out. Okay. So we definitely want Archimedes to go somewhere else. Um, we, m oh, perfect. We'll do this. There, take him out. Uh, and we'll move Archimedes out of the way. And smoke him. Great. This is an excellent start. Oh, Archimedes leveled up. Okay. So, he has trapped them. Easy solution to that is just push them out of the way. Um, we've also got rocket business we can do. We've got jet jumping business we could do. I'm actually thinking, let's see, how, how far do you move? Four, one, two, three, four. Um, this is a bit of a problem here because we cannot get him pushed this direction, which is what we need. Um, we, yeah, we're in a bit of a spot here. He may actually have his way with some buildings. Which is sad. One option. One, two, three, four. No, that wouldn't work either. Oh, well, okay. So, this is a trick I like to do with this rocket sometimes. Uh, and I think this is probably what we're going to do, so I'm just going to go for it. Um, here, we'll do the push. That's fine. They're good now. And we'll do this to take him out. Okay. So, Archimedes basically just shoots something, doesn't matter, just to put the smoke on. So he's going to take a damage. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave him there to block the spawn. Because I don't want to deal with five guys next turn. Um, so he'll take the damage from the smoke, and he doesn't get to shoot that building this turn. So that's good. And he's only got two left. We've got two turns to do it. We're in pretty good shape. This is actually really good. Like, uh, we can smoke, uh, shoot here to get rid of him, and it will smoke this, which will stop that. 
Um, he can come over here and uh, jump and smoke him. And that lets uh, the science bot come over and push him out of the way. So yeah. If you cancel the attack of the guy that's doing the web, the web goes away. Oh boy. Well, he'll live. <laughs> Missed that. But that's okay. It means we'll only have these two guys to deal with next turn. So we should be alright. Yeah, I'm going to keep it. I know they're both going to be at only one health left. But there's no mech damage requirement. Health is a resource. Okay. Perfectly doable. Rocket. Ah, no, not that. This one. Got rid of him. And Science Boy says, I agree. Alright, Corporate Top Protected. Firefly Leader done. Finish the island. Region secured. Protect the civilians. And check this out. We are at full civilians. We did not take any building damage. Awesome. Thousands of lives were saved today. I am thankful for the time you have sacrificed to aid us. Disengaging kill all humans protocol. The Defenders! Finish a corporate island without taking a building damage. Very good. New skill unlocked. Plus one mech move. Plus one mech move. You have saved Pinnacle, accomplishing every objective without fail. Allow me to provide additional aid. So, we can get an acid tank. What this will do is um, apply this double damage material to an enemy. Um, a little better than the shield tank that we looked at uh, in the last run. We've also got this guy can act twice if it does not move but it requires two power that is pretty hefty or fill in two grid defense because we're still trying to get pilots unlocked i'm going to take this one i normally would not if everything was unlocked because the price for his thing is is kind of high yes acting twice is great but the number of times i don't know i just i feel like you don't often get in a situation where it's okay to not move but I'm going to take him to start filling in the uh, the pilot holes. Pilot holes? <laughs> and so, because now he's in the hangar. I will never take him again. <laughs> Alright, spend reputation. So, we have... I mean, I'll go ahead and equip him on somebody, because why not? Um, probably this one, since he hasn't leveled anything up yet. And he's got more experience already. Uh, so let's let's take care of that before we do this. But he's also like the least helpful person, the least helpful mech for this guy, um, because if he acts twice, he's already pushed everything away. So it, I guess it would only matter if he could bump something twice. Okay, so we can have Sergey Chavez retire. Thank you for your service. We got 10 to spend. Uh, let's go ahead and max out the power grid once. Um, let's look at what's on offer here. Uh, repair field, it's another passive. Repairing one mech will affect all mechs. It's not terrible. Um, the number of times I choose to repair is pretty low. We've got uh, the light tank, so we can deploy him and he's a little pusher, just like in uh, our first timeline, that was great. Um, they're pretty fun. They require uh, two cores to turn on, but sometimes getting these little these little helper buds is is really great because then you've got four actions a turn for the rest of the fight instead of three, and that can really um, change the dynamic. We've got a grappling hook where he would reach out and grab stuff and pull it pull it toward him. We've got a heavy rocket. Uh, which is a once per battle thing, does three damage and does some pushing. Or we could just get cores and reactor. I'm I'm really looking at this light tank. I think what I might do is sell this and pick up a light tank. 
and probably give it to don't know who I'm going to give it to yet um, okay so it needs two cores to run so one two and uh, then we got a choice we can either get another core um, which isn't a terrible idea um, let's see what would we uh, let's figure out who's going to who this is going to go on first we can put it on the jet the jet we generally want acting right away um, we can also put it on science guy who may not have the best situation the first turn the, obviously the earlier in the battle you deploy this the more actions it gets right so I think we're going to do that so one two turn this on okay if we went for another core we could get shield self which when he pushes he gets his own shield that's not bad um that's actually really good it can help protect him quite a bit from like if he pushes away a guy like a firefly that's going to shoot in a straight line at him we give an extra two health to our little tank friends obviously these two up here uh can't do anything with these can't do anything with these we give him more health, which for two health guy that's getting scrappy with everybody, that's not terrible. I think I'm going to do that. So let's go ahead and we'll get another core and upgrade that health. Oop, install it and upgrade the health. That's going to help quite a bit with him, I, th I feel like. Okay, let's see. We've got, to, yeah, we got time for one more. All right, so uh, leave island. So we finished there. This is an amazing. Oh, we have to complete three islands to get this, not just to complete this island. Okay, so let's head back to Dewey. Hey, Dewey. Civilizations of the past had a military strength vastly exceeding ours. Good thing we preserve some of their old war machines. I know, Dewey. You did a great job. All right, so not the best start. Um, we can either just get one star or get one star and an upgrade to grid defense. Tidal waves. These are fun. Let's do this. Yeah, you're going to like this. Alright, so we got this line here. This will this tile will become water at the start of the enemy turn. Uh, this, is, this is fun to play around with. Okay, and we'll put the science guy up here with the intention of immediately uh, deploying the tank. And the tank can get used right away. It's not like that action is just wasted. See how the thing... So check it out. He's just here. He's done. Like, there's nothing to worry about here because the tides go first. So the tides are going to come in and sweep him away. Uh, this guy did, uh, armors up the other ones. So they basically have one damage reduction. So it's good to get rid of him if we can. So I would probably do that with artillery. Deploy our little tank buddy. Um, maybe, uh, let's see, where would be a good place for him? Uh, maybe here so that we can start pushing him out of the way. We've also got the smoke that we could work with. Yeah. All right, so let's take care of this. Boom. So then they are no longer armored. That's great. And we're going to... Let's see. Oof. Actually, we're going to do this. We're going to deploy our little tank buddy here. So this is just like on that one mission where they gave us little tank friends. We're going to use him to push there so that the jet can smoke him without landing on one of these. And then Archimedes has to fire and forget, we can move him back. Water took care of him. This is a new friend. So he shoots in a straight line like a firefly but then uh, the t the end point spreads out to three squares, and he applies acid on the units. Uh, acid essentially makes them take double damage, which is not fun. Uh, let's see. 
these are all going into the water, so he's fine. We could actually... We could use... Him... To push him over there as well. And then if we're here... Yeah, so... Push him. So now they're both going in the water. And we now have the room to do this. Science. She blinded me with it. Gonna go there, doesn't really matter. And then shoot him. So going into the next turn, we're gonna have two spawns. These guys are taking each, or they're just drowning, uh, which is great. And yeah. Okay. So he's gonna drown, not a problem. Uh, this guy is somewhat of a problem. Fire damage. Fire damage happens first. So if we were to do this and set him on fire, and then this and give him two damage, he will die from fire before he gets a chance to shoot. We could also just bump him <laughs> and bump. Let's get let's get the XP for for the direct kills. Okay. Move in there just for fun, but we're done. We've we've uh, successfully finished this island. The Vec threat in the region has been eradicated. All right, we took less than three good damage. We protected the coal plant that went straight up into our defense. Uh, yeah, did great. There's a lot of unused space in this region's nature preserves. We'll begin moving refugees here now that the Vec are done, gone, whatever, whatever that letter is. I don't know. All right, <laughs> that was great. Uh, moving on, we're let's see. We've got defend the tanks. Love those little guys. Uh, or do not kill the Baltebeck. We're definitely going to do this one, and then probably ugh, do not kill the Baltebeck just because it's more rewards than this one. Uh, but we're a little over time, so that's going to do it for this time. Uh, please like and subscribe and share and do all that stuff. And until next time, take care, everybody.